Thank you very much. What a day. What a day. And I really think we kept our promises from this morning. We have talked, we have took stock of the progress achieved and we have opened the trajectory towards a digital and green European sky. This morning we have seen the results of CESA 2020 and we discussed opportunities how to implement these solutions now. I think the last panel has shown the importance on let's do it, let's deploy it. And to reply to Tina and to Sandboxes, the five digital sky demonstrators which are up and running are facilitating already the deployment over the next years. And our ambition for the new master plan is to have strategic deployment objectives. It will pave the way for a coordinated deployment. And yes, a new common project should emerge from this. And we in the CEDA 3 joint undertaking will play our role in supporting the Commission in this endeavor. The new projects push already innovation in air traffic management towards more digitalization and more automation. But we, get, but, but, sorry, we need to go further towards a cloud-based, service-oriented platform architecture, a system which is agile, scalable, and resilient. This is all the more necessary as we will see many new types of aerial vehicles entering our sky over the next years, both from the civil and the military sector. And the new architecture will bring changes to the professionals working in the cockpits and on the ground. Technology and automation will support them and relieve them from routine tasks. Less <coughs> workload for ADCOs because technology helps them. Michel, you were asking for this. And if you haven't said it enough, I say it again. Safety will stay paramount. There can be and there will be no compromise on safety. So today we are launching the campaign to update the master plan, making sustainability the focus. I hope the joint discussion paper with EASA and Eurocontrol will stimulate discussions over the next months so that we are able to find common answers to the burning questions on how to make aviation more sustainable and how to adapt aviation to climate change. But I'm very encouraged from what I've heard and seen today. We received a lot of support and input for this campaign. Thank you to industry, thank you to the aid organizations which have made the declarations, and I know there are many other uh, organizations which are supporting us. We heard the military expressing their views, we heard the Spanish presidency, we heard many others, we had a video address from ICAO. I mean, all this support, all this input is very, very encouraging for us. And we have now the opportunity to collectively define and fine-tune the vision of a digital and green European sky. And from the last panel, I take it the focus on deployment also. It has to be concrete. It, has, it cannot be only a vision. It has to be a, a way to get to this vision. And this requires also commitments from all of us, from each organization, from each association. It is our master plan to be endorsed by the member states within the European Union and the Eurocontrol and to be adopted by the governing board of the CESAR 3 joint undertaking in December 2024. So I invite you all to become deeply involved in the campaign. I'm looking for vision, we said, ambition, but also, when necessary, a spirit of compromise. We will make to need compromises to make the next master plan a powerful, realistic tool for innovation of air traffic management in Europe, for the benefits of our citizens and for the aviation sector. Now, at the end of this event, I'm really proud to announce that we had 400 participants present, which is a very good turnout and we are very pleased and I think we could see, we could feel it. The community was here, we brought the community together and it's really inspiring for us. And I think the participants benefited from the quality of the uh, event. Many thanks to all our distinguished speakers and panelists. Many thanks to the exhibitors. I saw a lot of interaction out uh, there in the, in the room and good luck for their projects. I mean, we are keen to see these projects succeeding and bringing up more CESAR solutions. The sooner, the better. 
Many thanks to our excellent uh, uh, moderator and master of ceremony, Jackie Davis. You are not only a timekeeper, which is already very good for aviation, you're also a focus keeper. You kept our panels very much focused. So excellent, Jackie, again, thank you. Thank you. And then you see me standing here and speaking, but it's a team. So many, many thanks to all my colleagues in the joint undertaking, but also all our external contractors. I have a super team. We are a super community also. So many thanks to all of you for having organized such a nice event. And now it is time to go out, have a drink, and continue our discussions over a drink. Thank you very much.